Okay guys, so this is my rationale video for my chosen resources as well as how I came to finish with my um, finished assessment question and how I came to that idea. So first of all, as you would have heard in the previous videos, the biggest difficulty I feel with dynamic mechanisms and my topic of low C and rolling circles is the issue of actually trying to visualize the mechanism. So I thought when creating the resource that was the area I went down. I said I want to make it easier for students to understand how this mechanism works. So what I did was I chose the cycloid mechanism and the epicycloid mechanism out of my topic. So I used the GeoGebra software which I think is very helpful as you see in the videos, it's very easy to get a picture of how the mechanism works and it's very easy to kind of slide the sliders over and back just to give a demonstration on how the mechanism works. So for the first one, I did up my model on the cyclic mechanism, as you'll see in the video above in the portfolio, and then the epicycloid mechanism. So then I decided I needed to decide what I was going to do for the assessment. So I wanted to make it kind of a real life situation if possible and um, I always found it easier in school to be able to relate to a question that you could relate to the outside world so what I did was I thought back to kicking the ball out in the garden and you're going to drive your man mad or whatever with smashing flowers all over the place and just it's what an awful lot of young kids what happens is the flowers go flying all over the place and I know in my house there'd be sunflowers that would be getting uh, that be getting hit with the football. So what I did was uh, I just did up on SolidWorks um, a red football that will be kicked along the level um, the level garden and then the centre of a flower. And then I realised that the epicycloid when it goes round when I was using GeoGebra kind of looks like the petals on a flower. So this is how I came to the idea of using the sunflower. So when the epicycloid is constructed, it will give the petals of the flower. And then by linking the two of them, I thought it'd be a good idea to use um, to use the question of identify a new point P or where the two constructions meet. So this means to complete the question, you need to know how to construct a cycloid and an epicycloid. And I think it relates back well to the real world and would be a quite enjoyable question to carry out. Thank you.